From 1952 and number 150 in the imprint range from the Essential Film Noir Volume 3 box set is a rather good, if typical, uh, noir movie. Now, we have two great actors here. We've got William Holden playing Jerry, a news reporter, and we've got Edmund O'Brien as um, John, a special prosecutor brought in to try and tackle the mob element that's going on in this town. Now, John is you know, really kind of one of those clean-cut, honest, do-gooder guys that's going to make sure he takes down the mob, he won't get his hands dirty, he's going to fight fair, not realising how dirty the mob will really fight. You're a stucker, Johnny. Eichelberger's sitting on top of a $200 million empire. Have you got any idea what he'd do to protect that? Well, roughly. Jerry, a little bit more cynical being the newspaper man. He's seen people come and go before, and even though he's a childhood friend of John, he still doesn't think there's going to be enough to really clean up the town. And he kind of does a little bit of investigating on his own as well. And we get a, a kind of secretary character of Amanda who comes into this one as an almost kind of love interest between these characters. It's a kind of strange addition to the story. Doesn't really go much into that romantic route, but it's definitely playing that love triangle at certain points. And then we've got the bad guy, uh, of course, as well, who the mob boss that is kind of a couple of steps ahead of these guys. Um, and it just kind of dives into that story. The special prosecutor against the mob, the, the special pro prosecutor trying to do everything by the book, and the mob boss just evading everything so easily. What's wrong with our just losing the books? It wouldn't stand. It would mount the same as a confession. There's no way to do it small. The whole billing will have to go. What I kind of liked about The Turning Point is the way that it had that typical feel to a film noir. I kind of had it pegged as a movie that was going to play out a certain way and to certain points it did. But every now and then it would circumvent those typical tropes and do something a little bit different. Characters whom um, I thought were there for the mainstay would be killed, surprisingly taken out of the game. It really added an emotional core and a drive to some of the characters that we had. There's one particular death that really kind of motivates uh, the, why a character is doing what he is doing. I'm going to knock you to your knees again, Johnny. You'll have to get me on my feet first. I like the fact that Jerry feels a little bit outsider from John. You know, he is a newspaper reporter. There is a working relationship there, but there's not one of deep trust. Jerry doesn't trust John. John wants to trust Jerry, but you feel as if he's on the edge about that. And of course, Jerry, being a fantastic investigator, manages to piece together lots of little parts of the story that's going on here. I'm sorry, Jerry. Oh, forget it. Can I fix you something? Oh, you're very sweet. Wrestle me up a ham sandwich. You mind if I eat as I run? Where are you going? Says your car downstairs. In the garage. Lend me your keys. No. The characters are really kind of one note for the most part, but then there's this little influx of story or beats that kind of flesh him out, building up the characters throughout the film. It's one of those ones where I really did feel like I knew exactly what I was getting from the opening of this movie. But the further it went on, the more it would flesh out the story, the more it would build up the characters, the more it would increase the tension and the suspense and the drive to get this person off the streets, the more I became invested with the actual story, which is always a great sign. I, I thought some of the sequences were expertly played off, particularly one at a boxing match later on where you can feel the rising tension. Uh, one with one of our main characters on a high street where you can feel the dread of something that's about to happen and you're kind of hoping it's not. I've been trying to find you. I've seen Ackerman here. He fingered you when you come in. Some out of town guy is going to put the gun on you. Get out of here, but don't get in the clear. The Turning Point was a quick, easy film noir, one I'd never heard of before with some great performances, uh, like I said, that really did take that typicality, the typical scenes we've seen in noir, and change them about later on for some wonderful uh, results. Highly recommended, great film, again, 
third one in this set I'm hoping the next one which I'm pretty sure I've seen before is going to round out this great set as just four movies that are all fantastic I would love to know your thoughts on the turning point if you've seen it or are you going to see it as a film noir fan where do you think it lands in the pantheon of film noirs let me know in the comment box below we can have a chat about it as always there's more content up here if you want to see more of my stuff don't forget to hit that like button it helps the channel apparently and in the description box below there are links to the patreon the membership program and manvfilm.com all ways in which you can support my channel thanks for watching and i'll see you next time